from WJTV Studios in Jackson and across the state of Mississippi. Cold temperatures this morning will return again tonight. Details on the deep freeze do-over are just ahead. Streaming online 24 hours a day. This is WJTV News Channel 12 at 10. Let's toss things over to Storm Team 12 meteorologist Efren Aponte to see how long these cooler temperatures are expected to last. Well, Danielle, this area of high pressure that's been parked in the pretty much in the central part of the U.S. has controlled our weekend weather, and it's been bringing a lot of the cold air. But as it pushes off to the east, warmer air will start coming in from behind it. You can see a lot of the cloud coverage is starting to move in. So the cold air and the dry air that's on top of us now, at least we won't get more of it. But this morning we started out very cold, as most of us in the upper 20s into the lower 30s. Hattiesburg had an all-time record broken in 1993. It was 90, 31 degrees then. We had 30 degrees this morning, very chilly temperatures this morning, and by midday, we start to hit into the mid-60s, and that's as far as we got with the unseasonably cool air, and right now, all of us are sitting pretty much in the lower to mid-40s. Now, the winds have been picking up up until about this evening, and now they're generally out of the east-southeast, about 2 to 5 miles an hour, and they will calm down as we go into the evening. Now, satellite radar shows the clouds are starting to move in, moisture starts to come into place, but all of this moisture in the clouds, that's heading towards the Magnolia State, and that's going to be our next weather maker. But for tonight, details of what we're going to be expecting, I've got that coming up in seven minutes. Well, with the area of high pressure at bay, we're going to have another cold night tonight, but it won't be as cold as it was last night with some warm air now starting to finally move in. But we are going to be dealing with the cold temperatures, but the rain chances, they finally return. We'll take a look at your better and warmer eight day and your Storm Team 12 forecast when we return. See you in two minutes. And now, your Storm Team 12 weather forecast with meteorologist Efren Afonte. Well, welcome back. What an absolutely beautiful day it was. A lot of sunshine, dry air, no rain at all. But boy, this morning was absolutely freezing cold. And infrared satellite shows a lot of the clouds are trying to make it through, but they are not going to be coming through as much. We'll have mostly clear skies. And more importantly, Live at Max 12 radar is clear for now. But that is about to change in the next few days. All oh, the clouds are starting to move in. Moisture is now starting to return into the southwest parishes of Louisiana. But a lot of moisture is now taking place. We can see it now crossing over coming out of the high terrains in the desert west and then all the way into the front range of Colorado. So a lot of moisture is coming back. We're going to finally see a little bit more rain. But right now here in Jackson, we're sitting at 43 degrees, humidity at 76 percent. So the moisture started to come back. Calm winds out in Hattiesburg. Well, we're looking at almost identical conditions, a little bit cooler, though. 40 degrees with calm winds, humidity at 93 percent. Now throughout the state, temperatures are holding bay, but they're quickly dropping. They've been hovering in the 50s now into the lower to mid 40s and we're looking at lows overnight tonight not as bad as last night but nevertheless still on the cold side in the upper 30s as well as into the lower 40s and here in Jackson yeah, it's going to be cold just as well we're looking at an overnight low of 38 degrees mostly clear skies winds out of the southeast at five miles an hour to leap up to about 10 miles an hour but thank goodness 71 degrees is a high warm and mostly sunny we'll have a mix of sun and clouds throughout the day and pretty much everyone's going to be dealing with nice warm temperatures or just about everyone will finally be back into the upper 60s and lower 70s. Now when the kids head out to the bus stop, it is going to be chilly and we're looking at 38 degrees. Definitely grab the jackets because it is going to be cold to start off with, but it'll be mild by the afternoon and on your commute while well, we're looking at temperatures to quickly warm up, but only into the 60s by 11 o'clock. Most of the temperatures are going to finally start rising as a lot of the warm air starts coming in on the back end of the high. So our next weather maker, Clouds will start coming in, and then as we get into Monday morning, a mix of sun and clouds for the most part. Remember, the sun's now coming up at just left or 6 a.m., and throughout the day, mostly sunny skies. Temperatures will not be as low going into Tuesday night, but then in, um, to Monday night, but into Tuesday, we're watching as a cold front starts streaming through in from the central plains, the possibility of some showers into the very late evening Tuesday, and then stretching all the way down into the Pine Belt throughout Wednesday and Wednesday evening. We do expect a lot of rain out of this. We're not expecting it to be severe, but we are expecting though quite a bit of rain. But first, we're going to have to get through the chilly temperatures, 38 degrees tonight, 71 tomorrow, late chance of afternoon showers on voting day, 74 degrees Tuesday as a high, and then 40% chance of very likely heavy rainfall. Then the temperatures come down after the rain leaves and is out of here by Thursday. We'll stay with highs in the upper 60s, lows 
Ooh, I like to say this, in the lower to upper 40s, <laughs> not the 30s. I just can't believe Hattiesburg was 30 degrees. So fortunately, we're not going to be dealing with that after tomorrow. But you'll still need your sweater. So yeah. have that out for tomorrow morning when you're <laughs> heading to work. Thank you so much for joining us this Sunday. Have a great night. But stick around for the Sports Zone. We'll be right back.